Hi everyone, we're going to talk to you about alcohol today. In the first part of this video, we're going to talk to you about the motivations to drinking. My name is Mike. And my name is Marissa. That in certain situations, you're more likely to drink alcohol or you're expected to drink alcohol. So this would be like social gatherings, celebrations, such as acing your bio exam on a Friday that students are more likely to go and drink. This can. motivation also pertains to like, if someone was to say, like, take a break from studying for your OCAM exam the next day. And also, there's situations that'll cause you to have less motivation to drinking. These situations would be family events and religious gatherings. Did you know men are more likely to drink during the week than females? Actually, it's about twice a week. Motivation is known as social lubricant, basically meaning that it helps people create social ties with each other. For example, a lot of people refer to alcohol as liquid courage, meaning that if they don't have a drink, they're going to be unable to create new ties with people, like walk up to people, they're going to feel really shy. So it kind of helps them just kind of walk up to them and be like, hey, what's up? Like, will you be my friend if they have a drink? And the motivation in this is that people want to drink again to find that courage that they found. So if a guy wants to talk to a girl, they're more likely to drink so that they can find that courage. Did you know five standard drinks consumed over two hours will give you a blood alcohol content of 0.12? The third motivation is peer influence, which means that students are more likely to participate in high-risk drinking if their friends and peers are participating in it. In fact, males are 10% less likely to engage in risky drinking if they're accompanied with a significant other. And they're 37% more likely to engage in risky drinking if accompanied with their friends. Females, on the other hand, are 17% less likely to drink in the presence of their significant other and 59% more likely to drink with their friends. Did you know most students don't actually know how much alcohol is in one standard drink? Fourth motivation is rite of passage, which basically means like as college students are coming into like their first year of college, a lot of students believe that it's a rite of passage to start drinking alcohol once you come because you're now free from the constraint of parental or like having a guardian watch over you. Did you know one standard drink is 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, and 1.5 and ounces of hard alcohol? Another motivation to drinking has to do with family history. So, if your family members are alcoholics, you're more likely to have those same traits. Did you know women tend to drink more wine and hard alcohol, <laughs> and men tend to drink more beer? The last motivation we have to talk about to drinking has to do with stress. So even with stress. students that are mindful of their daily lives, refraining from taking risky drinking behavior, if they have a lot of stress in their life, they're still more likely to engage in risky drinking behaviors. Drink because they feel the need. Three. It's rolling. It's funny. I'm gonna laugh at your mistake. Like, it'll be. Okay, okay. That baby's in a